You're back. Thank the Blackest Sea that you and Noel are safe. And the artifacts? The lodge. So, we slip from the Starborn's grasp, but not before taking a stab straight in the heart. We... Uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the Eye are not secure. Got the right of it. The hunter, he, um... He probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. Here, keep the artifacts safe. I guess we'll meet back at the lodge after. Why is it that my nose seems to itch only when I cannot remove my helmet to scratch it?
last night was enlightening. I hope to uh, learn more next time.
Scan complete. You are clear to... It is done. Let's return to the lodge. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. No. We all feel like we've been kicked into the ground a million times over, but I think I have something. I'm serious. If I may, I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Unity. Do you remember that? Because he was stopping us implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but... Why not talk to him? And it would seem there is nothing to lose in doing so. Thank you. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. Thank you for helping me out with the artifices. Could we talk? I have been thinking about us. As a couple? <laughs> I am not sure of the terminology. Our relationship, let us say. No, no, nothing like that. You are wonderful and I... I love you dearly. You and I, we come from such different backgrounds. 
I cannot really know all that you have been through, and you... You are not House Varun. I am not suggesting otherwise. I... Uh, this does not work if I am not honest, if I will not speak plainly what is on my mind. As much as I love you, and I do, I cannot help but wonder what the future holds for us, given all that I know to be true. No, no, that is not my concern. I trust that you will stay with me. When the Great Serpent returns, I know I will be by his side as one of the promised. But you... you are not like me. You are not House Barun. Your fate, as much as it pains me, is sealed. I have tried to not worry myself over it, but I cannot stop thinking about it. What future can we have if that is the inevitable end? I pray regularly that that is the case, but I cannot believe it will come to pass. I have never expected you to share my beliefs. You cannot possibly. And I will not fault you for that. I do want to be with you, but... Uh, but there are moments I find myself grieving for you already, knowing that you will be... lost. How can I possibly move past this? I love that you are thinking of me, not of yourself. I just hate to think of anything coming between us, whether now or in the future. But you are right. I need to focus on what is in front of me now. Not something I have no control over. Thank you for talking me through this. It only serves to remind me how much you mean to me. How deeply I care about you. Really? You continue to surprise and amaze me. I am... I am at a loss for words. Of course, yes. Yes, I want that too. My culture deals with this so differently than I have seen in the rest of the settled systems. I need some time to consider what would be an appropriate, uh, equivalent gesture. But do not mistake that for hesitation. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I will not let you go for a moment.
Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Ah, oh, Mateo, it's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh, well, what's on both your minds? Oh, yeah. How humanity comes together, uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Have you ever heard one of his sermons? They're really good. Now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet, the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun, and he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out